In this video, we're going to focus on how to capture those special family moments that you'll want to remember forever. Before we start, let's consider how to approach this scenario. The goal here is not just to film an event, but to capture the emotions, the joy, and the unexpected moments that truly define it. We're looking to create a video that years down the line can transport you and your loved ones right back to that special day. To achieve this, we need to be observant, empathetic, and creative. Keep an eye out for those genuine, candid moments, like when someone laughs really hard, or gives a small smile, or looks surprised. These small moments can really add to your story. So today we are capturing an unforgettable family moment, a birthday celebration. This is a day filled with joy, surprises, and love, providing plenty of opportunities to create a captivating video. Let's dive right into how we can best capture and highlight these beautiful moments. Now, let's plan our video. We're capturing a birthday party, so we want to think about all the important parts of the day. Remember, in all these cases, we can experiment with different shot sizes, angles, compositions, and shooting techniques. We could capture, for example, the decorations in the house. This sets the scene for our video. The family gathering. While there may not be a big crowd of guests, this family occasion is no less special. The birthday meal. Food is always a great thing to include in your video. You can capture the family gathered around the table, laughing, talking, and enjoying the food. Bringing the cake to the table. This is a big moment. Capture the proud smiles of the birthday boy's mom and brother as they present the cake. Blowing out the candles. This could also be a great moment for slow motion. And don't forget to get a shot of everyone's reactions too. These are the moments that will make our video feel genuine and heartwarming. Opening the present. Try to capture the surprise and delight as the gift is revealed. Also the kid playing with the gift games and activities in case there are any plan to add dynamic footage, and maybe a group hug showing the love and warmth of the family. During these live moments, we don't have much time to think about every single detail, but it's important to have an idea of what we would like to shoot and how. With this being said, it's time to party, so let's have some fun. Okay, now that we've captured all these moments, it's time to move to the editing stage. This is where we mix all these clips together into a seamless story. We're going to add in some music that matches the mood of the day. Something happy and uplifting would be a great choice for a birthday party. So let's edit. The first thing that we need to do is select our best footage. And to do so, we're just gonna go in the Photos app, then you're gonna go in Recent, and then you'll be able to rewatch all the videos that you've taken. And then if you like one, you can heart it, which means it's gonna go into the favorite folder. Now you can go in the favorites folder and here you'll be able to see all the clips that you selected. Then we're gonna click on select. And then here we're gonna drag our finger from the first clip until the last one of the day. Then you're gonna click on share in the bottom left corner. And here we're gonna add to album. Then you can click on new album and you title it, let's say party. We're gonna click on save. And now we can start editing for real our video. Firstly, we're gonna open CapCut. And then from here, we're gonna start a new project. Then we can change the folder from recent to party. Here you'll be able to select the clips that you wanna add to the project. Remember that clips will be imported in order based on your selection. So for example, I know that I wanna have this one as a first clip, this one as the second one, then I'm gonna continue with all the other clips in order. Once you select them all, you can tap on add. Now we'll have to trim every single clip to keep only the best part of each of them. So in this case, I wanna have them when she's about to reveal Max's eye. So we're gonna start probably from here we're gonna tap on this clip and then we're gonna click on split. 
Then we're gonna select the initial part and we're gonna click delete. Then again, I'm gonna move forward a tiny bit until she's about to reveal Max's eye. And then I'm gonna cut the clip again. So I'm gonna select it, then split. And this time I'm gonna select the remaining part and click on delete. Then we have to do the same again for all the following clips. So in this case, I'm gonna try to match the previous clip. So when she's about to reveal Max's eye, I'm gonna split it, select the first part and delete. Then we're gonna see if this matches. Yeah, that's perfect. And then we keep Max's reaction. And then here, we're gonna split it again and delete the remaining. Now I want to show you what Max is reacting to. This is the room, the environment that looks beautiful. So we're gonna take this part of the clip. We're gonna split and delete the beginning. Just keep this part for a very short amount of time. So we're gonna split it again and delete the remaining. We're gonna make sure that this one is no more than 0.6 or 0.7 seconds. I wanna keep it very, very quick. And then we're gonna showcase a bit more clips of the overall environment. Maybe some details, some close-ups that we did. For example, this one, I like that we showcase the present. And then again, we're gonna split it and keep a very short part of the overall clip. Same thing for the glasses. We're gonna start here, split, select the beginning and delete. Then again, here, we're gonna select it and we can also drag the right handle towards the playhead, just like so. Then the next clip that I would like is the one where the family gathers around the table. So I'm gonna select it, hold it, and then drag it towards the left. There you go. Now I just need to trim it and have only one short part of the clip within the sequence. And it's probably gonna be from here. So we're gonna split, select the beginning, and then delete. And yeah, we're just gonna keep one second probably. We're gonna split it again, select the ending and delete it. There you go. Probably gonna make it one second long. I think that looks fine. And then we're gonna have Max pouring some Coke in the glass. Yep, this looks fine. So we're gonna split in this moment and then we're gonna select the beginning and delete it. Then again, we're gonna do the same with the ending. Then we have the cake. So from here, I'm gonna select a little part where Oscar is actually bringing the cake to the table. So I'm gonna split it here, select the beginning and delete. Then again, this we're gonna keep it a very short period of time, split it, and then we're gonna go towards the end when he's actually putting the cake on the table, just like so. So I'm gonna again select this clip, then split, I'm gonna select the beginning and delete it. Now that we have the cake on the table, the next shot will be blowing the candles. So we're gonna look for that clip, yeah, this is the one. We're gonna select it and then drag it on the left. And then we're gonna just select the part that we like about the candles. And this is the moment where I wanna start, when he's really about to do that movement. So we're gonna split it, select the beginning and delete it. There you go. And then from here, when he finishes to blow the candles, let's split it and delete it. And then I'm gonna have a wider shot when everyone starts to clap. Probably this one, yes, that's it. We're gonna select it, hold it, and drag it towards the left. Okay, so we're gonna wait the moment where he finishes to blow on the candles. Then we're gonna split, delete the beginning, and then we're gonna add a transition. So we're gonna click in the middle, then we're gonna go in movement, and we're gonna click on pull out. Then you're gonna click on done. Let's have a look at it together. That's perfect. Now I can see that there is another clip that I didn't use yet where they're doing a toast, but I wanna use it. So I'm just gonna trim it when the movement starts. So we're gonna split, again select the beginning, then delete it. And then we're gonna probably use this one after Max pours the Coke in the glass. So in this position. Then let's go back to just make sure we got it right. Yes, that's it. And then we have the toast. Amazing, so we're gonna split it and delete the ending. Okay, let's move on with the sequence. We're here, so the family is cheering, Max's birthday, and then we have a close-up of Hannah 
So we are probably gonna keep that when she's applauding him. So we're gonna split in this moment. We're gonna select the beginning and delete it. There you go. I think that's perfect. Now there is the cutting on the cake and I wanna have it when the knife is basically hitting the cake, just in this moment. So again, we're gonna split in this moment. We're gonna select the beginning and delete it. Then we're gonna go on maybe one second, then split it again and delete the ending. Then I wanna have when the cake hits the plate. So we're gonna probably use this moment right here. I'm gonna select it, split it, take the beginning and delete it. Then again, we're just gonna have this short moment and we're gonna drag the right handle towards the playhead to trim it. Then we have Max eating the cake. So let's find the best part of this footage. Yes, I think right here. So we're gonna select it, split it, select the beginning, delete it. There you go. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Nice. Then we have the gift. So Oscar is giving the gift to Max. So we're gonna start from this point, do the same thing, drag the left handle towards the playhead, and then we're gonna move a few frames forward, and we're gonna probably, actually no, this one, let's keep it a little bit longer because Oscar, he's hugging the dog. So I wanna keep it, yeah, probably like here and then we drag the right handle towards the playhead. Now Max is unwrapping the gift, so I wanna have it where he's basically done doing that and taking out the gift. So probably from this moment, we're gonna split it, select the beginning and delete it. There you go, and then he takes this out, he's super happy, very nice. Now let's split it again, delete the ending. And now we have my favorite clip of all, when Oscar is shooting the confetti. So we're gonna take from here when he pops out from behind the sofa, we're gonna split it, then again delete the beginning, and boom, we got this amazing shot. So let's keep it for a few seconds in the frame. We're gonna split it and delete the ending, that's it. I wanna have as a first clip, the one where I see Max basically running towards me. Perfect, we're gonna click on it, hold it, and then drag it towards the left here and then we're gonna start when he's already running so it's here and then we're gonna end when he's about to throw the sandbag probably in this point i think that looks fine and then we're gonna have the following shot where he's hitting the cans so probably like here so we see the sandbag in the air we're gonna split it delete the beginning and then let's see if that works yeah, that's amazing. Maybe we can add a transition here. So once again, let's click in the middle. We go movement and we're gonna add pull out transition. Let's see it together. Perfect. And now we have this clip where Oscar hit the cans, but then he's hugging Max. So we're probably gonna keep where he's jumping on Max. Split it here. We're gonna delete the beginning. That's it. We're just gonna keep it a few seconds. Probably, yeah, I think maybe let's have it a little bit shorter. Let's have it for two seconds, just like so. Then next one, we're gonna play a little bit of beach tennis. And I think I wanna have a clip where I'm very, very close to Oscar's record. So we're gonna grab it, move it here. And then I'm just gonna have it when he's hitting the ball. Now, that's it. And then I'm gonna trim this clip until we have it for half a second. So very, very quick, just when it hits. And then we're gonna have Max hitting this time. So we're gonna follow the ball, split this clip, delete the beginning. Yeah, that's really good, I like that. So we're just gonna have Max hitting, very nice. We're gonna split it and then delete the end. And then we're gonna have Hannah looking at the kids, smiling, so probably yeah, just like here. We're gonna have it again for a second, no more than that. We're gonna take the beginning and delete it. I think I wanna have it before she blinks. So we're probably gonna keep a different sequence. Then we have a very nice shot from a low angle shooting Oscar. So I think I'm gonna keep this one when he hits the ball. So probably like here, I'm gonna drag the left handle towards the playhead. 
just like so. Then I'm gonna move a few frames forward and cut it here. We're gonna split and then we're probably gonna delete all the remaining. Then we have Max playing with the other game. So let's move forward in the clip because I have a wide angle. This one right here where I can see the whole ball jumping from the game. And then we're probably gonna take it from here. So we're gonna split it, take the beginning, delete it. That's really good. So we're gonna split it in this moment and then we're gonna delete the ending. And now we have the final shot when there is a family hug. And I think it's one of my favorite shots of the overall video. And then I'm tilting the iPhone towards the sky. So I'm probably gonna split it towards the end because I don't want too much sky. And then I need to choose the entry point of the clip, which is probably gonna be before the kids enter the frame. So I think here, then I'm gonna split it, select the beginning, delete it. And then let's watch this last sequence together. Yeah, that's really good. Very cute family hug. And then tilting the iPhone towards the sky. I think that looks really, really good already, but let's watch it back together. So we're gonna start again from here and let's play. And I think this looks really, really amazing. But there's one thing that I noticed that I wanna adjust. When Max is playing with the cans, there is a, the emotions after of the two brothers hugging together. But I think I wanna anticipate this moment. So when Oscar is actually about to jump on Max, basically, I think that's better. And then we're gonna split it here. And I think this looks better. But I also wanna trim a tiny bit the previous clip. So we're just gonna make it shorter, just like so before Max is actually raising his arms. Then let's watch it back together. And I did these adjustments because I wanted to showcase the emotions between the two brothers. Now we have one thing left to do, and this is choosing the right music. To do so, we need to go into sounds, and from here you'll have different categories to choose from. Choosing the right music takes time. I already went through the process and I already know which one I'm gonna use. And the one that I'm gonna use is called Tropical House. And I'm gonna click on plus to add it to my timeline. I'm gonna zoom out with two fingers, then I'm gonna hold on the music and then drag it at the very beginning of our sequence. Now we can have a look at the overall video together and see if the music fits or if we wanna do any sort of adjustments. But before we do that, I wanna mute all the sounds that we have in the original clips. And to do so, I'm gonna click on mute. Now, let's play together. And that's it, I'm super happy with the result. There's one last thing that we need to do and this is about trimming the music. So make sure to be at the end of the overall video. Then you tap on the music to select it, you tap on split and then you delete the remaining part. And once everything is set, you just need to export it using the top right button. If you want, you can also change settings. So if you click on 1080p, you'll be able to change the settings and maybe go to 4K if you wanna have it at max quality and then also choose the frame rate. We're gonna keep it at 30, then we're gonna hit export. At the end of the export, you'll be able to find your video in the Photos app. I hope this lesson has given you a clear idea on how to approach capturing a family event. Remember, these moments go by quickly and you might not always have the time to try different angles or shots. But don't worry, even if you can just capture the key moments, you'll be creating something really special. And the more you do it, the better you get at finding and filming those moments that truly tell the story of the day. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna see you in the next one.
this preview of the iPhone Video Academy offers a sneak peek into the incredible world of iPhone videography. Get ready to unlock the secrets, techniques, and skills that will transform your videos into works of art. But wait, there's more. In the full course, you'll embark on an immersive learning journey covering every aspect of iPhone videography. From mastering camera techniques to refining your editing skills, the iPhone Video Academy has it all. Don't miss this chance to become a true iPhone videography expert. You'll find the link in the description right under this video. Click on that link to find out more about iPhone Video Academy and I'll see you inside the full course.